This is the 40 to 82 inch TV wall mount here from the folks at Pearl Gear. It's a great way here to be able to mount this to your studs and have an up to 100 pound TV mounted to your wall. It's got an extension arm that allows you to extend it from the wall to give you that nice surround sound feel as well as giving you that floating TV feel. What's great here is it's VESA pattern compatible, which means that it fits between 200 by 100 millimeter or 600 by 400 millimeter VESA certified TV mounts. Everything in the box is as you see here, it's made out of a metal construction. It's got nice written out instructions as well as a wall mount guide here to be able to fit any standard wall or stud however you want to mount it. And it comes in a really nice compact box, obviously made out of an all metal construction. It's going to require some prep as well as uh, a few tools and items in order to be able to mount it. First of all, you're going to want to find where you're going to mount it. I'm going to be placing it here above my dresser. And then also you want to figure out where your studs are. Mine is 16 on center, which is standard in the US. Make sure that you do that prep before you jump into it. First official step here is mounting the brackets here on the back side of your TV. You should have on your TV the wall mount here. Uh, make sure you check your size to make sure that it fits. And also you've got a wide range of bolts to be able to fasten it here to the set. With that said here, make sure that your TV is not over 100 pounds because if it is, then it's not going to be compatible. Make sure that you got the hooks down and this tab here is right there. You don't want to over tighten it, but tight enough to be able to anchor into it. And go on into the other, other side. Next step is arguably the most difficult. You're going to have to use a stud finder here to find your studs. Like I said, I am 16 on center. However, what I'm going to be doing is putting my bottom wall mount here right around this area because this is about 7 to 10 inches. And I do want some clearance here, especially with the cords as they come down. And so by placing it here and going across, I do need to draw like a box basically to get my marks here. With that said, uh, make sure that you have a stud finder as well as a pencil and do it yourself. When you're setting them out here, make sure that you've got the logo facing upright so you don't do it upside down. We're going to go ahead and just hand screw in the bottom. Then ratchet it into place. Then we're gonna finish off tightening the rest. Checking level again if you need to make fine adjustments. Looks good. Next step here is getting the length of obviously the width. I have it and already pre-measured it to have it out once. Once you hear that click, you're gonna go ahead and get H and you're going to screw H into this set. Before I forget, on the outside here, you can place these cushions to be able to protect your wall. Put them right on the edge. They are optional if that's what you're interested in. Next step here is mounting the TV. You're going to obviously need to mount it on the hook on the top, and then you have to flip the brackets over. Now that you got the TV in place, you're going to find where you want to place it here, align it on the center of the hooks, and then you're going to go ahead and lock it in place by flipping these latches and locking it in place with G2. Okay, now that you've finished that, you can go ahead and return the TV back to where it's at, and now you're good. Last step is to put the dresser back where it needs to and, and attach all the cords. Turning my TV on for the first time, as you can see, it's got great viewing angles here. If I want to sit on the bed, if I want to lay all the way back here, you have great viewing angles. If you want to push it back and still have some things on the dresser, you have that option while still being able to see with clarity and adjusting here. With that said, guys, uh, down below in the links in the description will be the product pricing and availability. If this is something that you're interested in, please check that out. It helps out the channel. This is sponsored and uh, see if this works for you. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye.